sure you all have noticed, we've been facing some challenges over the last several months <laughs> uh, that have ultimately led us to the decision to sunset Nomad Complex. And I wanted to take a little bit of time to kind of explain why and what happened. As I'm sure you've all noticed, a massive clothing brand associated with the furry fandom called Nomad Complex shut down about 11 months ago. But what I didn't notice is that recently Nomad Complex came back and took us all by surprise by yet again becoming what seems like the largest furry clothing brand in the fandom, providing many high quality prints to any person in the furry fandom who wants to show off their furriness in public. Now, you may be wondering which other ways furries show off their furriness in public, or how you could show off your furriness in public. So, without further ado, let's get started. Surprisingly, there are a lot of very fandom-focused clothing brands. Some reputable brands include Nomad Complex, Hyena Agenda, and Camp Powell. Of course, all these brands either hire artists or design all of their own merch, which happens to make almost all of their designs look incredible so that furries can always be comfortable wearing their brand in public. Alternatively, there are also designs being sold on The Dealer's Den and other online marketplaces, often made by independent artists who don't want to get involved in any large-scale operations. Speaking of furry clothing brands, by the time this video goes live, my own brand will also go live as a few of you have requested that I create some merchandise. Unlike a few other brands, I have tried my best to keep costs down while still maintaining the best quality I can and ensure that I'm only selling designs that I would buy and have bought myself. If you'd like to check it out, click on the link in the description. But anyway, that's enough of my shameless promoting. You may be wondering which other ways furries show off their furriness in public if they're not dressed in one of these brands or in a fursuit in a meet. Some furries actually like to use stickers on the back of their phones or laptops, or in some cases, even on the palm rest of their laptops to show off their furriness in public when working on anything throughout the day. This is so common in fact that many furry fandom merchandise brands typically offer stickers so that people can either be more discreet about their furriness or just have another reason to show it off whenever possible. Of course, there are occasions where furries at conventions sometimes use their stickers on lampposts and other objects around a convention, but I strongly advise against doing anything like that due to it quite literally being vandalism. Believe it or not, during special events such as Halloween, some fursuiters enjoy fursuiting in public that may typically only wear their fursuit at conventions or large meets. This is possibly due to everybody having a lot more of a chilled out attitude towards costume wearing during these periods, which often allow people in the fandom to feel a lot more confident to show off their partials or full suits. However, there are risks associated with wearing a fursuit during special events like this, as people may misinterpret the fursuit as a cheap costume and spray it with something like silly string, making it incredibly hard to clean thoroughly afterwards. So, as you all now know, there are plenty of ways that furries can show off their furriness in public, even including ones which I haven't mentioned in this video, that you should be able to find with a quick Google search. But anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I would also quickly like to thank Kiyoshi for being so willing to create a few of the merch designs for my shop. I'm sure that I will work with her again for more designs if you all happen to like the current ones available. And with that, I hope you all have a fantastic day.